2005 Jayco J Flight Model 28 FKS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Just came in uh, today at the time of this filming. One owner, non smoker, no pets, older couple. Um, they uh, went camping for quite a few years, had a great time, and just unfortunately, the way time catches up with us, their adventuring days have simply just kind of passed them by a little bit. Um, the only thing I can really say to take away from this is purely cosmetic. Just a couple of these stickers have been sunbaked, but it is because this trailer has been used. Uh, what's nice about that is they used it frequently, so they were always in it. If it needed uh, attention, they were there to address it. I found nowhere uh, where you know appliances have been damaged. I found uh, nothing in the way of water leaks or water damage. Um, you know, it's been well used and well maintained is the uh, more important part. Um, 28 foot roughly, big front kitchen with a super slide. And what's nice is that means you have a very private rear bedroom, which is a rare find nowadays. Um, this is a rear pass-through storage, by the way. Your um, uh, rear bedrooms give you a little bit more privacy, a little bit more quiet time at the uh, campsites because it puts your sleeping space further away from the traffic of people walking through the campgrounds. So if there's a couple kids on bikes having a good time, like kids tend to do, um, you know, they will uh, not tend to disturb you if you're a light sleeper. Uh, big super slide that we're looking at here, both the sofa and the dinette will fold down into sleeping spaces. And uh, again, despite the air, this thing is in great shape. You can see your sofa here being one of your primary sitting areas is not you know, shredded and worn out. This has been very well kept. You don't see, you know, dog hair and cat hair all over the place. You don't see where the dog chewed on a screen door. Um, everything's very nice in here. And you can see that even with these shades drawn, we still get a fair amount of light in here. And this has a front window, which very few manufacturers really offer anymore. Um, the, uh, when the folks decided to end their camping days, um, they pretty much had duplicates of everything so they could leave the camper packed. So if you come through it and you see little bowls and pots and pans and thing like that in here, you'll uh, you'll know why. Uh, they basically just said, well, we're done with it. And if uh, someone can find use out of some of the stuff, then great. And if not, then they're at, you know it's at their leisure just to dispose of it however they please. Front kitchens or rear kitchens, either way, tend to get you more cabinetry and more counter space than anything else in their size and their class. And anyone who's ever owned a camper or had a camper can tell you the two things you can never get enough of are cabinets and counter space. And uh, front kitchens like this will tend to get you more. Um, the uh, all in all, it looks like it's been very well kept. You know, I'm looking around as we go. And uh, what's nice here is being a J Flight, it is built a little bit bigger. It's 81 inches tall versus the industry standard 78. And uh, that'll get you some extra cabinet space like this. That'll be uh, an extra headroom in the shower. These two cushions right here, I'm glad I opened this, I forgot to show you. This has a telescoping dinette. The sides here pull out and you see that there you can create an extra seating space with this. So you can fit some a few extra people here at the table. And uh, it's pretty nice when it comes, you know, breakfast time for all the grandkids. Or if you're just playing cards with a couple friends at the end of the night. Um, this has a very motorhome styled bathroom, meaning a walkthrough split bath. And uh, the, you sort of see the shower here, but the uh, bathroom door itself sort of is double purpose. It can close to give privacy to the, the toilet area, as we're seeing here, or it can lock open like this to sort of put a, a cut wall in here so that the, uh, the rear bathroom and bedroom areas are totally private. Plus, we do have a, uh, an accordion set up here if you want to make the bathroom private and separate from the bedroom. You can do that as well. Um, I love the uh, the honey oak colored cabinetry in here. That's something that Jayco is just known for and, and renowned for for many, many years. And it's something I've always liked. I prefer nice, rich wood tones over, you know, cold metallic things. I think it just gives it a, a far better look and more character overall. You may have noticed the full size uh, Create a Breeze style fan in the bathroom. That will do wonders to. Uh, uh, you know, help uh, keep things ventilated. And if you have the, uh, you know, all of your windows open for cross breeze and you open that fan up, it will keep a very nice breeze rolling through your camper. A lot of times folks won't even run their AC. Now you notice back here in the bedroom, we have side windows and a giant rear window. So you have lots of light in here. Again, even when the shades are drawn, it's very comfortable and bright. 
So give us a call, learn a little more, or even better, come see it in person in Goldwater, Michigan at Halet RV, 800-256-5196. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Happy camping.